what's up y'all i know i'm looking raggedy but welcome to my very first reading vlog so this weekend is a highly important weekend because i got like four books i need to finish before sunday which is the last day of june and low key i need to finish that book high key on saturday night due to the fact that i actually have to film my what i read in june video for you guys so yeah i attempted last weekend to you know do a reading vlog and you know i failed epically because i'm new to this i mean i'm trying to become true to this but we'll see how it goes so yeah i'm just trying to progress and get into the swing of things today is thursday june 27th yep that's right it is june 27th and i don't have to go into work tomorrow so this is the perfect weekend to do a reading vlog for you guys so you can see how i read what i do and how i'm doing it this weekend right now i'm actually about to go back into the house because i'm filming outside because i thought it was a pretty day and then it's bright as hell out here so that's why i'm like facing this instead of you guys seeing the mountains well you can see it a little bit but i feel like i'm gonna be like washed out so that's why I'm standing over here in the shade so you can see me but yeah so i actually finished let me hear a rhyme by tiffany d jackson and this this author if actually if i was going to really write i feel like i the type of writing style she has that's exactly how i would write books like sis you doing your damn thing and let me hear a rhyme gets me into my feelings but it doesn't get me it doesn't get me into my feelings like monday's not coming because i actually cried and i finished that a couple days ago as well like i've just this should tell you a lot about this author period because her first book that i read is called allegedly i listened to that on audiobook off script last week and then actually it's not even last week this week i've read all three of her books this week that's ridiculous but it's kind of weird because somebody's walking up my walkway and you know i don't want to stop recording but i'm not going to stop recording so yeah I knew about her second book that she published called monday's not coming and i was like oh my god let me see if she was just good at writing just this book or she really like a good established author y'all monday's not coming made me cry <sighs> made me cry finish that ouch i stepped on something finish that in a day and then after monday's not coming i was like oh my god i know she has like other books like she has to have other books like i cannot get enough of her writing style like i am absolutely in love with it so that's when let me hear rhyme popped up and i was like i'm pretty sure i heard this book title before and sure enough i'm on a book facebook page and she's actually doing a live televised show with the facebook group that i follow on july 25th and i am so excited because i have so many questions i, I just need to know and i got to ask her so i'm highly excited i might even record like me watching her live stream on my group reading facebook page thing or whatever so you can see if she answers any of my questions that i have for her but yeah like the sun like went away for a little bit oh wow you can't even see the mountains now but anyway y'all so that's where i'm at let me hear a rhyme if you haven't heard it or read it yet it was amazing started it yesterday i finished it today and don't mind your rainness right there <laughs> please don't <laughs> but yes y'all i'm just in love with this author like i can't wait until i get like my professional bookcase so she can have her own shelf even though she got three books but she deserves it because she did her thing 
and I'm so excited to get a chance to talk to her and ask her so many questions about where she gets her influences from how does she write like sis let me know but yeah so I am actually reading a book that kind of favors children of blood and blown and I don't really want to like broadcast it yet just in case like other booktubers and the book world really haven't found out about this author yet so I really want to review and take my time reading this book and inhale everything that's going on so that when I review it this weekend for my video I can tell y'all I all right y'all so I'm back so right now I'm about to go and watch the Avatar The Last Airbender, me and my husband are on season three. And y'all, last night, some episodes in season three that I haven't even, you know, seen. My husband talked about, yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen them though. So it's like I'm watching Avatar for the very first time. Like, bro, like, who knew that Zuko is the product of the old fire lore and the last avatar like those are his granddads like bro i didn't know none of this so you trying to tell me and then and then and then bro so the last avatar before ang and the last fire lord were best were best friends bro did you know that i didn't know that did you know bro when I tell you, mind blown, it's getting good. I mean, you know, I felt like I seen every episode of um, Avatar The Last Airbender, but I guess not. And yeah, we about to go on a little adventure with, that was so lame, but yeah. Y'all thought y'all got to see my personality in that new booktubers tag, but y'all, this is really who I am. Sometimes. Because... You know what? Your girl could low-key have like a whole TV show because basically, you know how That's So Raven had act in That's So Raven? That's me in real life. Me in real life. Okay, y'all. Bye. Y'all, the they just bloodbended in the Avatar. What? Y'all, Katara, bloodbender now. Good morning. It is June 28th, 2019. And haven't made any progress because I was supposed to read last night. But we watched Avatar, as you've seen from the clip before this. And we watched this new show called 60 Days in Jail. When like seven innocent people go into this jail in like Tennessee or like Indiana or something like that. And they're basically like, they have like cover stories for being criminals so they can get into jail. And nobody knows besides them and like the producers that come in to like videotape them and stuff like that and then like the sheriff but and then they have to stay there for 60 days and it is crazy it was good though so now i'm about to actually go and run some earrings with my family we're gonna go to the library and i don't know i just posted on bookstagram and you know i love love when I tag an author on a picture that I took of their book that I'm reading and they like it and comment like sis why you had to do me like that like I really don't be thinking like they be liking people stuff but you know they do and I feel oh so special so 
oh yeah the author was jessica brody she wrote the churros of standing still and if you have not read that book then you're crazy because that book is absolutely magnificent. I really love that book. I don't know if it's because I felt like at one point in time I was going to lose my best friend myself. And I was placing myself in the character's shoes. So I was just like feeling all of it. Really. And then it it's the book takes place in the Denver airport. And I currently live in Colorado so of course I've been to the Denver airport plenty of times and so I low-key want to ask her like sis how do you know so much about the Denver airport because the way she was speaking about it is 100% correct like it was so crazy and then I was actually reading the book while I was landing to get back to Denver airport so it was like I was really there but yeah, so I kind of want to have like a chill day with my family. Go to the library, take you guys with me, <sighs> read the books that I need to read, court on Sunday, and yeah, and it's a couple Instagram posts that I really need to make because I read a lot of books in the month of June and I was not posting on my bookstagram at all. Ooh, y'all, it's a pretty day today. You know, these, like, reading vlogs really show you, like, what your favorite booktubers do, like, on a daily basis and then, like, what type of person they are. Because I was just thinking about it. This is basically, like, a day in my life video. But on a smaller scale. Because I just recently started going back to the library due to the fact that I kind of, sort of, feel some type of way about libraries. Because I really like books. But I just feel some type of way when I have to turn the books back in. Like, I don't want to turn the books back in if I really love them. So, yeah. But we're on the way to the library. If you know me and you follow me on bookstagram you know i recently read one of her books and i was blown away by like the slight romance well not the slight romance it was heavy romance contemporary with a little bit of smuttiness and i was like oh my god like girl but look at this one like mm, this one looks like it might be really interesting so i'm gonna pick this up to see what this is gonna be about Bill number two, like, dude, I want to read this, but this is the second book. Like, what in the world? library guess we're going to the library i'm so proud of myself because i didn't spend what nothing but 20 minutes in the library and usually i could be in a library for an hour but it's this is like my second library trip in the last three weeks and it's kind i'm still learning my way around the library because i just went to the teen section I didn't even go to the adult section because some of the books that I'm interested in actually reading adult wise 
I don't know where to locate them in the library. <laughs> destination so so in Colorado Springs they have like eight different branches and their library cards look like this and you can go to any library in a Pikes Peak district how cool is that like I love living in a city that they have like a million libraries I can go to and they all look different like none of them look the same <laughs> So, I'm back. I went to the library. I rechecked out two books that I checked out a couple weeks ago. Well, three. I returned one because it, I thought, I don't know why I thought in my head it was something else. And so when I started reading it, I was like, I'm not even into this. So I returned it. And I kept two books that I know I am going to finish this weekend. And so to substitute the one book that i returned i'm going to read this instead it's by it's called hold on tight by abby um abby glines and if you follow me on bookstagram you know that i recently read one of her other books called as she fades during may yeah during may so i'm excited because i really enjoy her writing style but yeah i'm going to read this along with my two other books and then to be honest i'm probably going to film tomorrow morning i'm gonna film a library haul because i got a lot of books and i can go back and get more that's the that was the highlight of my day because when i was in high school my county library where i'm from i'm from a really small town i could only check out like seven or eight books like what what am i gonna do with seven or eight books dude like nothing but here i can go back and get more so i'm really excited and then i'm waiting on books that i purchased i actually need to buy some bookmarks so yeah it's just gonna be an exciting weekend for us i low-key need to go to barnes and nobles because I can't listen to the audiobook for it as um as Sky Without Stars. So I'm just thinking about going to Barnes and Nobles and getting the book because I don't have a books a million here. So. <laughs> Y'all, I'm shame as hell because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Yeah, but like I was saying, the book that I was talking about is called Song of Blood and Bone. It is by L. Penelope, and it is definitely a children of blood and bone comparison kind of sort of. But this book is definitely on an, an adult scale. And what I mean by that is, yes, there is sexual content, but there is not a lot of sexual content to where that it is overpowering the book but anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed 
seeing a snippet into my day-to-day -day life how I read what I do my library trip look forward to my library haul and yeah enjoy the scenery before I end this vlog enjoy it by the way that's a big behind hotel so yeah bye guys <laughs> but so yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing me getting to know me and dealing with me on a personal level let me know um if you were ever to be put in the avatar world what element would you be a part of that's the that's the most important aspect of this whole reading vlog what element would you be a part of earth air water or fire tell me because we can fight about this in the comments because i already know what i'm gonna be but i'm trying to find out what y'all are like what how y'all systematically developing yourselves for an avatar world but other than that yeah this is my sunset off my porch those are my mountains oh yes that's absolutely beautiful but until this next week you guys because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna vlog again let me know if you have any reading recommendations because I'm having a free for all month this month with my library books and my book of the month books that are supposed to be coming. But yeah, I'm taking forever to end this. Uh, let me go now. Bye.